Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the plat, trying to make every combinations of units work that he could think of. Today, we are talking about the machine gun that is the four mages build. You could even go five mages, but you're at that point, you're just asking for trouble. Four mages and a elf is, I think, going to be probably one of the strongest ways to do this. Um, if you want to make it a little more consistent, less damage, but more uh, consistency overall, you could remove this, um, one of these warlocks, and add something a little more like a a thief or someone that's able to like disrupt the enemy for you know some somehow basically um because there are this build has some weaknesses you might want to add something that can increase their accuracy like an owl as well but what are we doing here the idea is we are completely built around this uh, warlock ability called magic pursuit activates after an ally uses a magic attack active follow up attack a single enemy with magic it is a one pp way to deal bonus damage so we have four warlocks why because we are going to use a magic ability and then he's going to follow up attack he's going to follow up attack he's going to follow up attack then he's going to attack and then he's going to follow up attack he's going to follow up attack he's going to follow up attack and then he's going to attack and then he's going to follow up he's going to follow up he's going to follow up and then finally charles is going to do an attack and he's going to follow he's going to follow he's going to follow until all of their pp is gone so that is the idea of the build however it has some severe weaknesses and what we're comp we're going to compensate for about 80 percent of the weaknesses right out the gate by using an elven auger here so we're going to start the fight with an elemental roar with eagle eye right use a sniper lens get your initiative as high as you can i'm up to 72 and then give yourself a sniper lens so you have eagle eye then you're going to elemental roar with a warlock that has a thunder brand tome this is going to do an AOE nuke, basically a lot of damage to we, you know, soften them up. It is also going to give you, um, there, it's going to stun them all. Um, if they're all immune to stun or if there's enemies that are immune to stun, you might want to switch this character out and go for a super high initiative, uh, shaman instead and blind all the enemies. The point is our initiatives on these warlocks is very low. So you want to do something to delay the enemy turn. Uh, so you could basically get your attacks off and then what we're doing here is mostly going to come down to we're going to be trying to thunderous strike enemies to keep them stunned we don't need to do like we don't need to invest a lot of ap like we don't need four ap on these characters because they're gonna the idea is that they're gonna get killed with their pp and so we are going to be using all of our pp up by this point and so you don't really need it and i actually i think having because of the way i'm doing it um, trying to go for max meme with the machine gun. I am using things like blue spectacles to give me accuracy where you could go with like a Gilbert to get guaranteed accuracy. I don't think that's insanely good in this situation because it's the sniping order is not exactly what we want. I would probably go with a where owl, um, wherever that, where's that owl at? Um, the where owl has the plus 50 accuracy, um, the issue with the and they can actually increase the pp so i do think the where owl has a lot of um potential here to be good i know where they're at i only have the one um at least in this save um because they could use restore they could also use night vision right 50 accuracy to the whole back row of allies um and restore they are not going to be able to do the like they don't have an attack so you'd have to try to give them an attack and i don't even think they can get an attack here um yeah, I don't think they have access to an attack that I am aware of. Um, so that's one thing. You would lose a little bit of damage there. You would just have to put more AP on the other characters. But this is one route you could go. But what's the idea here, right? We're going to... I mean, I already showed, I told you. Let's actually take a look at the build. Sorry, it's been... I'm very tired. I got up... Well, you don't care. I got up a long time ago. We're just boosting our pp up to four and then are getting our magic attack as high as possible and then we're sacrificing a little bit of magic attack potentially for some uh accuracy because missing is a big it's a big negative i'll be honest um so we're up to 99 attack here on this character right just using things that boost it 
pretty similar here the only thing is we have thunderbrand tome on one of them we could probably move this up here for a little bit more damage i have a power belt because i was trying to do some fights where they were dying in the front row because of stun immunity and i it, and it did help but i decided let's just this is more tech right so you could probably remove this that's more tech like if you need to use these accessory slots for something else to get a more tanky front line um and then for this is just all accuracy right we don't even care about the damage that much although the damage is nice um rage of fireflies is insanely good to have in case you need to fight a specific thing that could fuck stuff up so let's kind of take a look here what we're gonna fight we're gonna fight um number six everfrost so one thing that makes this pretty good actually right the very first thing they're gonna try to do is cast the same magical attack again so you know they're gonna try to like ice coffin ice coffin um i guess they don't yeah yeah so they're gonna try to double ice coffin and nuke things but we're just gonna kind of stun them i actually thought that they were gonna do the other one that makes them move instantly but it doesn't matter the point is i think this will work just fine this is a machine gun build and most of the damage might even come from our elf because they're that good but the idea is to get all of the attacks from the uh the follow-up attacks because it's just kind of a fun thing all right so what do we got here we stun them quick cure debuff immunity frenzied strike so that's like a follow-up you didn't miss which is nice i don't think it's necessary there but we have the eagle eye guaranteed hit elemental roar and then it's all gonna it's gonna aoe stun as long as none of them are immune to stun which looks like none of them are great damage by the way did about half of the hp of the team so the second elf sister would probably clean it up but that's not what we're here for all right so now we're gonna try to restun enemies that are not stunned boom big hits man we're, we're not even get we're not even getting a chance to do our stuff we might actually need to remove some there we go one two three four five we might need to okay our our magic attack is a little high so let's go ahead and lower our magic attack to kind of get the full even if it causes us to lose we did win that one yay let's go all right i lowered my damage a little bit too much here and i wasn't able to kill the sorcerer so let's do it again now we'll be able to see because she gets like this debuff immunity so i had to change this up here but now she should die from this second attack right here la boom goodbye now everyone now we're gonna be able to do our low amount of damage i kind of show you the whole idea of what we were trying to do here right all right thunderous strike boom now we're gonna do follow up follow up one follow up two still too strong follow up there we go follow up one follow up two follow up three fireball follow up one follow up two follow up three fireball follow up one follow up two follow up three now we might actually still lose but you get the idea right this is like a straight up machine gun especially when you run out of ap and they start using fireballs you just start stack and burn against enemies that are pretty much immune to it but once you get your stats high enough, as you can see here, like, you don't need this many attacks. But it is a machine gun. Checkmate. I don't even know what the fuck that does. Oh, it kills someone. I knew that. Checkmate. What an interesting ability. I'm actually kind of interested. That must be a tie to the bow, because I don't think it's on the uh, character. So we're going to lose. But <laughs> you understand. We did a bunch of attacks there. And it's kind of a meme, I'll admit. Like, it, I like doing these kind of memes, seeing what it's like if you go all in. Kind of like with all the werewolves, you know, they follow up attack and all this stuff. I think it's really cool. What is checkmate? Attack a single enemy, inflicts passive steal, 100% potency if the target is 50% or less HP. Ugh, terrible. 250 potency and executes. I mean, it's okay. It's, but icicle dart. Well, look at this guy. You're trying to make the Vanguard look good? Stop it. Anyway, guys, that is it for this one. Kind of a fun little meme build video. If you have any ideas of concepts you want me to try to make teams around, let me know. Um, I've started to do a... I've done a lot now, and I'm starting to be like, all right, what else can I do that's interesting, that's fun? Um, what is something you guys are interested in seeing? I mean, I could do like a full Cav team, but that team kind of builds itself. But I'm still... I could still be interested in doing it. I could do just a generic good team. Um, 
but like uh, as far as like the kill everything teams i feel like i've kind of done a lot of those right the gladiator one was insane the combo you know the the counter attack one with the snow rangers insane the double nuke is kind of insane you know i've done fights on how to kill the final boss so you know i'm starting to i'm run out of good ideas for what i could do and then i would like to crowdsource that a little bit so anyway that's all for today much love for platypus for platypus i will see you on the flip flops y'all have a great rest of your day slash night and i will see you soon in the next video tomorrow bye